<clears throat> Hello, everybody. I am one minute late. I had a few technical difficulties. Yeah, that is the nature of Facebook Live. <laughs> don't worry. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't let it frazzle me anymore. It's, it is what it is. And when you have problems, you just have to start over and do it again and hope it works. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Sarah. Welcome. Kathy, we've got two Kathys already. And Adarlis, welcome, Paula. I'm going to get myself set up here on my screen so I can see what's happening. Hi, Karen, welcome. And here I am. And I can monitor your um, comments better. Hi, Mary. So, I had a really <laughs> exciting weekend. I and some of my stamping friends headed over to Lansing, Michigan for a training event, and we had a ball. Um, the training event was just exceptional, and there was swapping, there was um, fun snacks, there were business presentations, people shared from their heart, which is always cool. That's where I was one of the guest presenters. My good friend Dina was also um, a presenter, and I met some new friends from all over the country. It was really, really fun. I'm going to share some of the swap cards that I got with you because um, I love to do that. And they're exceptional. The, all of the cards were just absolutely beautiful. And <clears throat> if you're part of my VIP um, Facebook page, and remember, once you place an order from me, I put you in that VIP Facebook page where I share exclusive projects, videos, um, and all kinds of fun. If you're part of my VIP Facebook page, I did a Facebook Live from Lansing, Michigan, showing you all the beautiful displays. It was just incredible. They were so, so pretty. So um, that's just something fun that I like to share with my, with my customers that are ordering from me. You get a lot of special perks when you order from me. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Mary. Hi, Lisa. Yeah. So, Lisa's saying hello from Snowy to Pier. Holy cow. So we left um, Thursday evening to go down to uh, DeKalb, Illinois, where we stayed overnight and then got an early start. We needed to be into Lansing, Michigan by noon on Friday. And we got... Um, well, it started snowing. We started getting really bad weather. And... It was pretty crummy all the way from Menasha to Fond du Lac where I had to I had to go to Sherwood and pick up Kathy and then to Fond du Lac and pick up Chris and then we drove to DeKalb and it was fine all the way down there. Once we got up in the morning and headed to um, Lansing, Michigan, once we got into Michigan, there were like these snow squalls and it was crazy because the highways were perfectly dry and fine and it was just really windy and then all of a sudden... It would be blowing snow everywhere, and there was like zero visibility. Kathy says, best event ever, and it really was. Um, so you couldn't see. And then every once in a while, and I think this happened like three or four times, all of a sudden, my car just started fishtailing. We are going down the freeway, boom, and we just start fishtailing. So that was really pretty scary. It was a pretty um, white-knuckle drive through most of Michigan to get to Lansing. There were flights canceled all over the place where people couldn't even get into the event. Um, they were arriving late, and there were five people that had to turn around and go home, and I'm not sure where they were coming from, but it just got too bad out, so that was really sad. And, you know, that's the nature of having events in the winter when you live in the Midwest with all the snowstorms and crazy weather. So um, the person who put on the event is going to... <laughs> Kathy says, you were an amazing driver, though, through all that. Um, thank you, Kathy. Um, <clears throat> the person who puts on the event, I think, is going to move it to April or May so that we don't have to deal with snowstorms because we can deal with everything else here. But when it starts getting icy and windy and, you know, 50 below zero, ugh, it's horrible. So anyways, um, we had a great time, and then we headed out really early this morning because I needed to get home to be ready for my Facebook Live. And um, once we hit Fond du Lac, again, started snowing like crazy. Those of you that live around here know that it wasn't very nice out. And then there I was again with the white knuckle driving all the way from Fond du Lac to here, which is about 40 miles. So we made it. Oh, it was kind of crazy. Um, 
my presentation that I did went super, super good. So that was really fun. I hope I get asked again because I don't mind um, sharing what I've been doing in my business and what's working. And um, I love to share with other demonstrators. So that's another great um, point. If you are looking to become a discount shopper with me or if you would like to join my team as a business builder, I support both demonstrator types and I never push people further than they want to go. It's all about what you want to do. Um, but I think I have a good team and I think I provide really good support for them. So I know I've got a lot of my team members on here and I want to welcome my new team members, you guys. Um, I think I've added um, 40 plus new people to my team since celebration started January 3rd. So thank you guys. Happy to have you on board. Can't wait to play with you. <laughs> it's so fun. I want to share with you, first of all, um, the cards that I received in the mail this week. My gosh, I got three, uh, two beautiful cards and then a really nice um, message. So I just wanted to share that with you. So first of all, from Suzette Lewis, are you ready for this Valentine card? Because it's stinking adorable. Look at this. Is that not the cutest thing ever? Oh my gosh. And it's a shaker card. So the little hearts inside the jar shake. It is super, super cute. This is my Valentine card from um, Suzette. Suzette is a member of my team. She said she found that card idea on Pinterest. Um, from a post and she had to give credit so it's not her original design but she said you inspire me every week watching your live videos thank you happy valentine's day and stay warm thank you Suzette you're really sweet the other thing I left this piece of paper in here this is just a piece of white cardstock and I wanted to show you that when Suzette put this in her envelope she put this white cardstock over the front and then she inserted it in her envelope. And what that does is it helps tame down any bumps and lumps that may be in here. And that really helps your cards go through the post office better. So if you've got any embellishments that are lumpy, even just rhinestones, um, you want to just put a piece of scrap. Now, not your good Whisper White. Okay, let's be clear about that. Well, I guess you could use it if you wanted to because that'd mean you'd be buying more. But no, use a scrap piece of cardstock and... <laughs> Put it in your envelope. My husband just said, hey, do you live here? I know. I've been gone a little bit. And I'm going to be gone again um, this coming weekend. I have a home party that I'm going to be doing over in by Marshfield, Wisconsin, in Spencer, for one of my longtime friends and um, customers, Shelby White. I don't know if Shelby's watching tonight, but her mom, Arliss, usually, usually watches. I think Carol, her sister's on here. And um, her other sister is my aunt married to my uncle. So I do a party every year for Shelby, and I have some really great things up my sleeve. So we're going to have a lot of fun next Saturday. All right, on to the next beautiful Valentine card. This is from my friend Denise, and she's the one that I went down and um, stayed at her house in Arizona. And hang on, I just saw Joanne say, or you can turn your card inside out. So let me tell you a little bit about that, Joanne. While you can turn your card inside out, it often does not arrive in very good shape because if you have rhinestones or pearls on it, they smash through the other side. Your card is then bent the wrong way. And sometimes your um, if you're using patterned paper or something that's not stamping up because stamping up is really good quality, it'll rub the color off on the front of the card. And it's, it just doesn't arrive in really good shape. So I just want you to know that doing this with the piece of white cardstock in the front of the card is really the best way to go. So just a little tip. Oh, and then I have to show you how cute is this envelope? Yeah, she decorated her envelope. Adorable. All right, my friend Denise, we stayed with her down in, um, in Arizona. And this is the Valentine card that Denise sent this week to me and Steve. Isn't that cute? Look at that. Maybe we'll do this fun fold. Maybe next week. I'll set it aside. Hi, Lisa Kashevsky. I'm happy to see you on here. And I miss you. I keep saying that. We need to get together. Okay, so happy Valentine's Day. Hope you had a safe trip home. And um, while it was a little difficult getting home, we did get home. I think I told you guys about that last week that I thought I flew my husband into Milwaukee from Arizona instead of into Appleton. And I kind of freaked out a little bit. <laughs> but it was okay. <laughs> Yeah. 
Um, Steve should share Valentine's is right around the corner. You know, he should really come and make me a Valentine card. Maybe that's something we'll do on my VIP page at some point. Um, do a little Facebook Live with Steve. I think that would be fun, right? <laughs> and then I had to share with you, my, my um, Sue Molden is one of my customers. She's been with me from day one. Like, she was in my very first stamp club way back almost 15 years ago when I started this. And um, she sent me all of these pictures. And these are cards that she made with the January Paper Pumpkin Kit. And she said that she usually doesn't like when the paper pumpkin kits are 3D items, which is what this was. It was a little pillow box. But she took all the elements and made a ton of different Valentine cards. And she sent me a note um, that said she wanted to share with me some of the first variations on a theme. She came up with her paper pumpkin. And she said, after I got these cards done, I really got... I really got going. With a few exceptions, all my Valentines were made with this month's paper pumpkin installment with extra materials left. Hooray. So that's really nice. I love getting stuff like this in the mail. And I love hearing that people are enjoying their products. And I like to know what they're doing with them, too. So um, Sue may see this on YouTube. She's not on Facebook. But thank you, Sue. I really appreciated seeing these cards. And they're super, super cute. It was a really cute kit. All right, let me set those aside. What else do I have to share with you? Okay, a couple things. Don't forget to share. Share, click that share button. You can do that right now, whether you're on Facebook Live right now, whether you watch it later, or whether you're on YouTube, there's a share button, and you can um, you can share it. Somebody said, what is, Rose said, what is that cactus card behind you? I don't have a cactus card behind me, so I don't know what you're talking about. I do have this um, card box that I made, and this is my Feature Friday video that was introducing my uh, wonderful romance online class. Beautiful, beautiful class. I can show you the cards that are inside in case you missed that. This bundle was so much fun. So I made four cards just like this, put them in the box, Put this beautiful belly band around them and um, I demonstrated the cards on my video on my blog on Friday and then on or I mean yeah that came out Friday on Thursday I showed in my VIP Facebook group how to make the box with the belly band so again that was an exclusive project that I shared with my customers and somebody said on your left are you talking about this? This is a Valentine thing? I don't have a cactus card. Oh, <laughs> I see what you're talking about. Yeah, this beautiful cactus card. This is from Shannon West. She is my, um, gosh, I don't even know what her title is because I, I always forget it. She is my um, BDA, Business Development Advisor. I am on the Great Lakes Advisory Council with Stampin' Up, and Shannon is my advisor, and she sent this beautiful card. Isn't that cute? Yeah. She, I think she just took her ink pad and swiped the ink across the front of the card and stamped the cactus and the little elements. Super cute. So, thanks, Rose. That is a fun card. I'm like, what are you talking about? I don't have any cactuses. <laughs> okay. Um, what else do I have to show you? I have... Oh, um, I just wanted to let you guys know on my VIP group this last week on Thursday, I shared the card box and I also chose prizes for this week. I am giving away a Stamparatus, the Warm Hearted Exclusive Hostess stamp set, and also some chicken wire elements um, to anybody who comments on the Facebook Live I did with that box. So if you are on my VIP page, make sure you go over there, check out that box, and leave your, you know, make a comment so I can enter you in the drawing to win one of these three prizes. For those of you that may have come on late, um, how do you get into my VIP Facebook group? You have to place a real order with me. Um, I had said at one point that I would allow people who were um, purchasing my online class without any product to be in my VIP group and those of you that got in are lucky, lucky ducks. 
but I'm not going to do that anymore. I've changed my mind on that and it's an order with me and you get in my VIP group where I share exclusive stuff. And speaking of exclusive stuff, this card came from my friend Ruth. Can you see that? Isn't that just amazing? Look at this. Yeah. Ha! I am going to be sharing how to make this beautiful card in my um, VIP group this week sometime. And I just pop on there live randomly and show you exclusive projects. So again, it's a benefit to be one of my customers. I take good care of you. This is from the Beauty of Bounds Framelit Set and the Beauty of Bounds, or I'm sorry, the Butterfly Beauty Thinlets and the Beauty of Bounds Stamp Set. That's where this card is coming from. I'll be sharing that sometime this week with my VIPs. And what am I going to share with you guys tonight? I have three great cards. We're going to be using, um, I'm sorry, I keep sliding off my chair. I think it must be a little high. There, I'll put it down a little bit. Um... I'm going to be sharing a frog card that's kind of a fun layout, and I've got a geared up garage card to share with you, and oh, a fun technique, and we're going to be using the By the Bay celebration set for that, so I think you're going to love it. Um, I want to get on with my winners for, the, for last week's Facebook Live, and first of all, for her comment is Sherry Wolfgram of Oshkosh, Wisconsin is going to get some of these happiness blooms enamel dots. So, yay, Sherry. Oh, thanks, you guys. We've got 300 watching. That's awesome. I, like, I always like to hear those numbers because I don't pay real close attention to that when I'm, when I'm you know, trying to keep my brain focused on what I'm talking about and showing you. Yeah, it's kind of like chewing gum and walking is that is that what they say or patting your head and rubbing your belly I'm not very good at that <laughs> it's a little tricky also for sharing don't forget to push that share button last week for sharing I've got the lace dynamic embossing folder and Linda Darimple is going to win this now Linda I'm not sure if you're still at the same address that I have for you so if you're watching tonight could you please private message me your current address because I see that your Facebook profile says you're in Appleton but I think I have a Nina address for you so I need your current address and you're gonna get this amazing beautiful gorgeous embossing folder you're gonna love it and then last but not least for placing an order with me I am giving away the Vibrant Vases stamp set, and this goes with our Vase Builder Punch, which I am currently looking for, and there it is. This is um, this is this goes along with this Vase Punch, the Vibrant Vases, and this is going to Kay Allen of Turlock, California. So thank you so much, Kay, for your order, and I hope you will enjoy this stamp set because it's really fun. There's a lot of great ideas with this. All right, let me set this someplace where I won't lose these items because, oh my gosh, sometimes my office gets to be such a mess, right? Okay, um, we have some new exciting stuff before I do. I think I'll do the swap cards at the end. I also have, oh, let me show you some little pillow gifts. Okay, so when we go to Stampin' Up! events, you know, it's all about the pretty things, right? And so um, my team members and my, and my good friends, because we all become friends. Once you join my team, I consider you my friend. Um, this is from Chris, and Chris is one of my demonstrators from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. And Chris made me this cutie patootie little um, pillow gift. And hang on, because I'm getting it open. There we go. And it's a little Ghirardelli candy holder. Let me see if I can get that in there right. And isn't this just the sweetest little thing that uses the Hey Love stamp set? Adorable. And this is a really, she said it was super quick and easy to make. So the event that I went to in Lansing, they also had a 3D swap going on. So there were about 30, 25 to 30 people that made 3D things. So you could, you could make 30 of these and then come home with 30 different little 3D items. And oh my gosh, the creativity was amazing. And maybe I'll share some of those with you in upcoming Facebook lives because I took lots of pictures. Then from my friend and team member, Kathy Miller, I got this cutie patootie little box. And isn't this just the sweetest? So let me see if I can get this open. This was a 
we call these pillow gifts because when we go to Stampin' Up! events, like on our incentive trips, the next one will be in July. We're going to the Greek Isles on a cruise. Stampin' Up! has um, gifts brought into our rooms, our, our cabin rooms, every night on the trip. We get pillow gifts, and it's so much fun. And here is Kathy's little box. Isn't that just the sweetest little thing? And let me get it open. Oh, it's got a belly band. Okay, belly band. I'm going to slide that off. And look it, she's got chocolate in there. Yay, I love chocolate. That is just the sweetest. And look at how tiny and cute. And, and again, this is a super easy little box to make too. So maybe I'll show you this um, in the future soon because um, why wouldn't I? It's adorable. And then from the host of the event, I got this little notepad. Isn't that cute? She made this for me, and I believe that this was one of my gifts. Hmm, I don't know. I think everybody got one of these. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys, if you're watching. But I think everybody got one of these, and it was super, super cute. Nice little thing to take notes, and it's got a little ruler on the end, so that was pretty neat. Oh, and we all got um, a take your pick. Oh, I don't know if everybody got this or not, but um, take your pick putty refill. Maybe I won that in a prize patrol. I don't remember. But anyways, it was fun. Okay, let me set this stuff aside. Oh, and this fits in one of our little cello bags. So these cello bags, I believe, may be a little bit taller. That's what this little box was in. And you can buy these. Um, and Kathy might have cut it off. I'm not sure if she did or not. The putty was from our car dimmer. Oh, yeah. So we got called up to the front. Um, me and my friend Dina and Kathy and Christine to do a little, um, kind of like a little card, not really a contest, but we were putting on, um, the difference between having somebody helping you and doing an assembly line to teach and then, um, somebody doing it all on their own. So Dina was all on her own. She had to make four cards all by herself. Kathy, Chris and I were at a table and we had to make four cards all combined. So it showed how teamwork and having somebody be a leader and teach versus just doing it all yourself is more beneficial. So um, snowy Seattle, it is a full on snowmageddon. Vicki says, holy cow. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. I have some exciting news for you guys. We have new celebration items that are going live on Friday, February 15th. And I received my order on Thursday just before I left, so I haven't had time to play with anything. But um, I have a little brochure here. This will be online Friday, so you can, you know, bring it up on your laptop or your desktop computer screen and see it really big. If you're going to be coming to any of my stamping events, I will have this available for you to... Um, do that. The little box was made by Kathy. Somebody just asked, they missed it, and I'll 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 demonstrate it. So don't worry, I'll show you how to do it. Um, we have three new stamp sets, and well, I'm just going to show you. Uh, no, we have two new stamp sets, but four new products. So this first one is called all called all adorned. This is coming out on Friday. This is going to be a free celebration set. So when you um, place an order of $50. You can choose this as your free item. And this is made specifically for some really fun techniques using the Stamparatus. So perfect positioning, like you can put this on all four corners of your card and there's a really easy way to do it. So I'll be doing some demonstrations on that coming up really quick. Then I have to show you this amazing embossing folder. This is the Country Floral. This is one of our thick, 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 dynamic embossing folders. And again, this is going to be free with your $50 order. And I hope you can see how beautiful that is. And then, if I can pump, um, pump myself a little bit, I was smart enough <laughs> to make one for you. So I already ran this through the embossing folder. And look at how gorgeous that is. This is so, so pretty. So another free item. Um, called Country Floral Dynamic Textured Impressions Embossing Folder. Oh, that's a big mouthful, right? It is gorgeous. So that's another free item coming February 15th. And next, we have the P 
Painted Seasons stamp set. Now, this is one of our distinctive stamp sets. I hope you can see this. This is looks like real life. Like that pine cone looks real. It is amazing. And um, this is going to be offered with the stamp set and a pack of beautiful designer series paper. So let me show this to you. I'm just going to pull this right out of here. We're going to have this. And this is kind of um, like a pool party color. I know it's a little hard to see here. And yeah, I know. Sandra says you wouldn't want to cover that embossing folder up with anything else. And I agree with you. You're not going to have to do much to a card to make this an amazing card. Okay. And there's our, oh, did I? Oh, there's three sheets of each in here. That's why I'm getting three. Oh, here's little mushrooms. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. I hope I'm not making anybody sick. And then this is on the back. And it's kind of a watercolor wash with these little images. Super, super pretty, fun elements. Okay. And then we have this. I hope that'll focus because it is just so incredibly beautiful. And if you were on my um, VIP group and I did that um, Facebook Live tour of all the displays in Michigan, you saw some cards made with these with this bundle right here and they were so so pretty so there we go oh and oh and the last one I almost forgot look at how pretty that is absolutely gorgeous and this is the back whoops there we go ah yes Linda says the fabric looks like um, mushrooms that her mom used up for kitchen curtains in the 50s and I agree with you and those are coming back so um, all of these patterns are very trendy and um, beautiful beautiful colors let me see if I can get this back in my plastic. I always kind of keep this in the plastic until I can get it into one of my holders. Okay, so you've got the paper and the stamp set free with a $100 order. You get both of those items. So that's really cool. Let me move this out of the way. Then I have some pretty exciting news. Okay, so if you haven't heard this yet, this might be the first place you learn about it. Starting March 1st, our March promotion is going to be accessories to go with some of these celebration sets okay so like this particular stamp set is going to have matching framelits yeah pretty cool right those are going to be able available in march so right now you can place your um february order get the stamp sets um starting you know on friday if you want these new ones and then on March 1st, you'll have the opportunity to buy these framelits. Here's another one. Who loves the Hello Cupcake Celebration Stamp Set? This is stinking adorable. And we also have, coming March 1st, framelits. Uh, yeah. Now, if you join my team, you pay $99 for your discount shopper kit. You get to choose $175 worth of any product that you want, and you can include these new things if you do it before Friday. Um, well, I should, no, let me rephrase that. You can get this new stamp set, that paper, um, this stamp set, and this, because as demonstrators, we can buy these prior to February 15th. You can include that as part of your discount shopper kit. Right now, also, you can order all of these framelits I'm showing you that are coming out March 1st. Because as a demonstrator, we get to order stuff early. And you can get those right now in your discount shopper kit. And I should say, as a demonstrator or a discount shopper, when you join my team, you can get all those things right now. So, I'm not done yet. Um, oh, you know what? I didn't even show you this really good. I wanted to look at, look at this little glass... Um, this is the little glass, like you put it over the cupcake if it was on a little pedestal thing. Can you, can you see the cute stuff? I'm, I've got a million things running through my head to make with this. And you know what? These needed framelits, like this stamp set, framelits are a perfect, perfect thing for this. And then this is one of the favorites. Super, super cute. So happy together. Guess what? Here comes matching framelits March 1st. Yeah, it's even got a little lily pad thing in there, right? And some other, whoops, really cute elements. Yeah, I know. 
I know, right? I'm super excited about this. And then we have one for Lasting Lily. There's also a set of framelits to cut out the stems and the lilies. And then it's got these two, whoops, these, oh, let me see. It's hard to do this because I've mirrored my screen. These two labels in here to go with the sentiments in this stamp set. Again, this one you get free with a $100 order. You can get that now. And then you can buy these starting March 1st. So really cool. I've got something else to show you too because we're not done here. There's a new greeting stamp set and look at how fun these fonts are. Super, super cute. We've got with extra sprinkles on top. It's got a New Year's greeting in here. Um, jumping in, hopping by. Now, what would that go with, jumping in, hopping by? It goes with this. So we've got some cute little greetings that coordinate with all of our celebration products. We've got bravery, and today calls for something sweet. Um, wishes, and then this is a two-step stamping process you can use with the Stamparatus to color the word um, half one color and half the other, I think. I haven't done it yet, but I'm just looking at it going, yep, that's what it looks. Um, how about um, this one? Because adulting is hard. How cute is that? And then to go along with this word set, we have this new story label punch. So we've got a brand new punch. It fits these sentiments. Fabulous new product coming out March 1st. I know. I'm super excited about this. Okay. Um, what else? Oh, I can show you this brochure, too, because this shows the stamped images from that a little bit better than on the case of the stamp set. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, this is really pretty. Um, let's see. Here's some more cute ideas. I just want to make sure I'm getting them in my screen because I can't see what I'm doing. Very, very cute stuff coming up. So... I'm very excited, and I know you are too. <laughs> Hi, Karen from Australia. Welcome. Okay, let me put all this stuff aside, except this. I just want to rub it on my face. Isn't that so pretty? I can't wait. Oh, new stuff. You know, you're just like a kid at Christmas when you get new stuff. I love it. Um, I think we're going to start stamping right now, so I am going to... Bring in my basket of stuff. And while I'm doing that, maybe if I can multitask quite well. Oh, Cindy said, uh, what did Cindy just say? Oh, hang on. My computer isn't keeping up. Are we able to get the framelits now as a hobbyist? Yeah, that's how I got them. It doesn't matter whether you're a hobbyist, a discount shopper, or a business builder. You can order the same things that I can if you are if you have purchased the discount shopper kit. So yeah, you can get them right now. You need to go if you're if you're a demonstrator, you need to go to the Stampin' Up website or better yet, contact your upline and ask them where is this stuff. But it's all on the demonstrator website. Um, if you guys are demonstrators, you need to be watching the weekly updates. They come out every Tuesday. And when you go to the demonstrator website, you scroll down, weekly updates, bottom left corner. You need to be reading those because this is telling you all the stuff that you're missing. Um, just pop in Tuesdays, check it out. It's awesome. Stampin' Up! keeps us really informed. And if you join my team, we have a Facebook group that is private just for my team members. I put out a video every Wednesday that goes over everything in the weekly updates from Tuesday. So I talk to you about, hey, you could order this stuff. Hey, this is what's happening with the paper pumpkin. And I explain further than just some writing that you get to read that Stamping Up does. Add a lot of tips and, and other things in there into that video. I collaborate with two other demonstrators and we um, provide our teams together all this information so it's pretty cool like it's it's a pretty big benefit all right i have um classic or geared up garage here i am going to flip my phone around now and um cindy if you look under happening now i uh, I don't know if it's in there or not but just look around on the website and you'll find this information so if you get um motion sickness. You're going to want to close your eyes right now. I'm going to flip this phone around and we're going to start stamping and I'll tell you when you can look and sometimes I forget to do that. So, Okay, here we go. Here comes some stamping. Yay! 
All right, I want to make sure that my phone is straight here. And I'm going to get out my host code, and we're going to push that way up here. And I need to turn my, hang on, I'm going to turn my mirroring around. Yay, I did it. Okay. Oh, and I need to turn off that light because that tends to wash things out, and I don't want it washing things out. All righty. We have a cool muscle card to share with you. And I have some Tranquil Tide cardstock, some Whisper, what's it stuck together? Whisper White and Basic Gray. And by the way, I will put all these dimensions on the um, above this video once it's done and I post it. And why is this so blurry? Like, are you guys noticing that this is blurry? I don't like that at all. Huh. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. But um, it could be that the internet is having some problems tonight because we are... Um, yes, I just plugged in. Thank you very much, Trudy. Um, we might be experiencing some problems because of the snow that happened earlier today. But it appears as if... This is really kind of blurry. So I'll hold the cards up and hopefully it'll focus better. I don't know what's going on. Hmm. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Looks good in my screen. Anyways, we're going to get moving along here. Um, first of all, Tranquil Tide. This is four and a quarter by 11 and I've already scored it at five and a half. And I always score my tall cards because they don't like to fold nicely without a score line. Your, your shorter cards will because the grain of the paper doesn't try to fight you when you're trying to do that. Then I got a piece of basic gray, and this is five and a quarter by four. A piece of whisper white that is the same size, five and a quarter by four. I've got a scrap of tranquil tide here, and then our designer series paper is two by four. And if you haven't seen this designer series paper yet, or you're new to me, check this out. Well, let me get it out of here. It is so very cool. I've got several projects I've made. I think I made some here on Facebook Live, but I've also made some on um, my blog in some of my feature videos. This is like just totally dripping man juices. <laughs> that sounded kind of gross. Um, well, you know, <laughs> but um, it is some awesome, awesome paper. So, we are going to do some cool things here. The Geared Up Garage is part of a bundle. You order the stamp set and the Garage Gear Thinlet dies, and you get a 10% discount when you buy them together. And what I've done here is I like to go through and stamp up the stamp set. Here are all the cute images. Here are all the dies that um, don't have stamped images. And then here are the stamped images and the dies that have cut them out. So those are all in this pack called Garage Gears. And isn't that neat? So we're going to be using this one. And we're going to be using the car. And you know this is a Mustang, right? <laughs> I just want everybody to be perfectly clear about that. I love Mustangs. I had one. It was my very first car ever. And um, it's it has a soft spot in my heart. Yeah, Pat says she likes this stamp very much. It's great for little boys as well. And you are correct. It is great for little boys. And you know what? It's great for girls, too, because I have a good friend, one of my customers, Shelly Olson, and she loves muscle cars. And I think she has a Mustang, um, an older one, a classic. And um, you can do this in girly colors and make it for your friends who love muscle cars, too. So, thanks, Maggie. I love this set, too. Your first car was a Mustang also. I know, Mustangs are awesome. Okay, um, first thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to bring in one of my piercing mats. And I just got this covered with some um, printer um, weight paper. I like to do that so that I don't get ink all over my piercing mat. This is a really nice... Um, surface to stamp in. And then I've got three inks here. I've got Tranquil Tide, Basic Gray, and Memento ink. And I'm going to start with my Memento ink and my Mustang. 
So we're going to stamp that up. Oh, and Mindy says she has two Mustangs. Wow, you lucky girl. <laughs> that would be fun. Barbara's first card was a, her car was a 66 Mustang. Mine was a 64 and a half, and I loved it. It was candy apple red. It came from Pasadena, California, and it was gorgeous. Such a fun car. Okay, next thing we're going to do here is we're going to die cut this in our big shot, and this cuts this car out perfectly. Again, I'm using Tranquil Tide with black ink. And of course, through the magic of TV, I've already done that. So, um, let me put this die away so I don't lose it, but I like to, I like to let you guys see what I, how I do all this, but I want to keep things moving along, right? Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my gray layer and we've got this all geared up to celebrate. And I am going to bring in my designer series paper. This is about where I'm going to place it on here. So I'm just doing kind of a dry fit so I know where to put my words. And I think I'm going to go right here with my words. Oh, and I got them straight too. <laughs> Winning! Okay, next I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to bring my big shot in so I can show you this part because sometimes this is something new and sometimes it can be a little um, confusing. So let me get my big shot in here. And I need my, oh, which platform? I think I use this platform. We'll see. We'll see if it works. Okay. Yeah, Kelly, you should have thought about this a little bit. I don't do this very often. So now I'm going to bring in my gears. And I want my gears to be right here. Now, we're not going to die cut these. But we are going to use one of the embossing mats. These are in our annual catalog. And with these, you get, hang on, I'm looking for the other one. There is a thicker gray one. Here it is. Thicker gray one that we use for some of our dyes. And then you've got this thinner blue rubber mat. And you're going to put your gears on here, face down. The mat has to be, I think, this side of the die. So let's try it. We'll see if it works. And if it doesn't, we can flip it around. I made this card quite a while ago. It's one of those things where I got home late this afternoon and I grabbed from my stockpile of ideas, which is like pretty smart for me to do that, right? Yeah, this doesn't work. Um, that didn't do anything. So let me think about this for a second. Oh, I know. I have the wrong platform in here. runs perfect for us but it doesn't so just know that things just don't work perfect all the time okay again die is face down you're putting your cardstock like this can you see that in the picture yes and then we're gonna put that plate on top and now it wiggled around so you know what I'm gonna do if you're gonna use this let's do a little bit of washi tape this is a neat trick too. take some washi tape tear a little piece off, and then put it on your clothes to get some of the sticky off of it, okay? And now this is going to be taped down, just going to go like that, and then we're going to, whoops, <laughs> and then we have to turn it this way, because your mat has to be on the back side of your cardstock, this green mat, without the hair. You don't, yeah, you don't need the hair on there, right? Blech. Okay. Here we go. Hi, Pat Eggers. I'm so glad to see you. You know what? This is cutting. What am I doing wrong, you guys? I'm doing wrong. I'm doing it wrong. That is not how that was supposed to go. So hang on. Like I said, I made this quite a while ago. And again, welcome to Facebook Live. <laughs> I am looking for some more... Basic gray. Here it is. Okay, here's some basic gray. Let me get a piece out. Get it cut. Okay, so did anybody answer yet? Matt goes on the bottom. The mat goes on the bottom. So, oh yeah, I, okay. Do I need two plates for this? Or just this? I think we need, there isn't another plate, just one plate. So Matt goes on the bottom, and then we're going to take 
our die and put it right on here, right? And then we do it like this. Do I have it, you guys? You need the white platform that it comes with. I love when you guys help me. I don't know why I can't remember this. I'm kind of having a brain fart. That didn't work at all. Oh, look, it's stuck because it's magnetic. <laughs> okay, somebody needs to help me. It's going to happen. It's going to happen on Facebook Live. You got that right. All right, let me grab my catalog. I've used these mats several times, but I'm just kind of having a brain freeze here. I don't know what's going on. So hang with me. Um, big shot. Here we go. Where's the embossing mats? Here we go. Favorites, da 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 da. Use the cutting pads to emboss instead of cut. Includes impression pad, then silicone mat. Jeez, it doesn't tell me. I did a video on it too. Who's helping a sister out here tonight? Regular platform. Okay. Regular platform. Do I need the little piece that goes on top? I don't know. And then we're going to put this on here. And then, I, gosh, you got to have a plate here. This is the one I ran through before and it didn't work. So we've got the mat. And then this. And then this. Is that right? Does that look right? Plate on the bottom. Die facing up. Paper. Then silicone mat. All right. This is turning into disaster. I forgot this thing. That's what I did, didn't I? I forgot this. So I think, is, is there a plate here? This, this, this. That feels tighter. Yep, I bet you this is it. Let's see. Oh my god, you guys, what a disaster. Yep, that's it. Okay, so let me talk to you about this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Things like this happen. You just need to let it go. So we've got the original platform that comes with our Big Shot. There's a plate that goes on top of it for when you're doing um, framelits, but you're not using that. Next, we've got a regular plate here. And then I did the silicone mat. And then you need to put your cardstock down like this with the die facing up. And then you put this white mat on here. So it comes with the white mat the blue rubber, and the gray. There you go. What a cluster. <laughs> it's really quite simple, you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was a long day. <laughs> I drove 400 and some miles today, so I'm a little tired. What am I to do with this? This is pretty cool. I don't know. It is kind of cool. Okay, so back to our project. Back to our regularly scheduled program where we now need to pray that we're going to stamp this straight, right? Okay, thanks you guys. Thanks for all your love. Thanks for your understanding. Yeah, it's been a long day. And um, I made this card a long time ago, like a couple months ago at least. Oh, look at I did it. Something's going my way. Yay. Okay, what are you guys drinking tonight? I've got tea. I'm completely out of Pepsi. I'm really sad because today is my last day for Pepsi and I ran out and that's fine. Because tomorrow I'm going to start my diet. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Diet time! Yeah, Angela says it's really quite simple but you must use it more often because I'm bound to forget. Yeah, that's exactly what just happened, wasn't it? Uh-huh. I have things like that happen when I'm doing um, stuff on my blog. Like for my online classes, I have to make these special forms for you guys to fill out if you want to order the bundle with the online class. And um, I only do it once a month, so every time I have to do it, I can't remember how. It's kind of one of those things. And you guys understand exactly what I'm saying. Because if you don't do something a lot, you forget. But I'm glad I had you guys to help me <laughs> work through that little problem. All right, I've got some of this beautiful, beautiful metallic ribbon. This is, um, I think it's a quarter inch wide. Yep, quarter inch striped metallic ribbon. And it's part of this suite. So it's pretty neat. And it matches everything in here. And I love it. I'm just going to take a little tape and add that right to the edge of my 
designer series paper and tape it on the back here. And then we're going to glue this piece down just like this. Get it straight. We've already had enough problems here. We don't need a crooked card, right? And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and tie it on here. I don't like to tie bow cards on man cards because you know, you don't wanna have to take somebody's man card away from them, if you know what I mean, when you start putting bows on it. So this works out really good. And then you're gonna add a couple dimensionals to the back of your car. And we are going to put this right down here. So it's gonna kinda of go over the gears. Is that not cool? Very cool, dripping masculinity. And then we have this inside. So what are we gonna do with the inside? I think what I'm gonna do with the inside is I'm going to stamp the You're a Classic. And I'm gonna put that right here. Oh, that didn't turn out. Did you see that? Let's try that again. Yay! Okay, and then I've got Tranquil Tide, and I love this. This is like the smoke coming out of the back of the car. Oh, I wonder if I have to... Oh, no, it'll be fine. I was going to say, do I have to ink off once? Look at that. Isn't that cool? And then I also brought in the Basic Gray... If you want to, you could do this on your um, card or your envelope, is add some of these little bolts down here because men love bolts. Just trust me on that one. They love all the metal and the bolty things. <laughs> all right, this is going inside our card. Nobody will know that's there. You don't need to worry about mistakes. And here we go. Isn't that cool? Cool. Easy card once you remember how to do this. So you guys can refer back to my video now to remember how to do this. Boy, that was that was rough. It was really, really rough. <laughs> yeah, some days are better than others, right? Okay, I'm gonna get this put away and we're gonna get on with our next card. You're gonna love this one. It's a unique little layout and I'm using the So Hoppy Together. Oh, let me show you something else here. Don't forget these, these are fun. These are the little elements that go with this whole bundle and they're called Classic Garage Metal Elements. And I think I'm gonna take one of these little wrenches, it's just a little wrench, and use a mini glue dot. I think I'm gonna need to curl that up a little bit because I don't want it hanging out from behind my wrench. I don't like it when that happens. So now it's stuck to my finger. Okay, here we go, there we go. And I'm gonna put that right up there. <gasps> Isn't that just the cutest embellishment? Now, these are kind of lower profile. They're not super thick, but again, this is one I would put a piece of cardstock over the front and then put it in my envelope so that um, you're covering up the bumps and lumps, right? So your post office doesn't get cranky with you. We don't need any cranky post office workers. And there's our cool card. Yay, us! All right, here we go. I'm going to close this so I don't spill them. I'm going to leave my dimensions out here so I can give those to you guys after I'm done with the live. I'll post them above the um, video. Okay, next. I am so excited about the framelits that are coming out to match this because that's a game changer, right? If you have to cut out all this little stuff, you certainly can, but... The framelits, through the big shot, bam, it's cut. Life is good. Frogs are populating cards everywhere. <laughs> All right, black raspberry ice. That sounds really, really good. Yeah, I should be loading up on my Pepsi, right? But I'm going to quit drinking Pepsi. So tomorrow, here's what's going to happen for me. You know, Pepsi has a lot of caffeine in it, plus a lot of sugar. But um, I'm going to get a really bad headache that's not going to go away. And I'm probably going to sleep a lot tomorrow because I will have no caffeine in my system. But you know what I did, you guys? I found this gum. Let me see if I can find it here. Um, here it is. No, is that it? No, that's not it. Sorry. Um, it's caffeine gum. And I saw it. Oh, here it is. At Walmart. Have, has anybody used this yet? One piece is 40 milligrams of caffeine or a half a cup of coffee. And it's sugar-free. 
So I'm going to try to see if this will keep my energy level up because let me tell you, Kelly don't have no time for being lazy, okay? I don't have time to be tired all the time. That is not going to be cool. Um, so I'm going to try that gum. But tomorrow I'm going to get a headache because I'm not going to have my caffeine and I'm just going to have to deal with that and it'll get better, right? So anytime you're addicted to something, and I am addicted to caffeine and sugar and blah, 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 you're going to have some issues when you stop doing all those things that make your life worth living, like drinking Pepsi. <laughs> so tomorrow I'm going to be sucking the joy out of my life by not drinking Pepsi, but I do need to lose some weight. So, <laughs> And I see that I did not score this. This is our thick Whisper White card stock. It is four and a quarter by 11, and I need to score this at five and a half because if you try to fold this without scoring it, whether it's a tall card, card or a short card, you're gonna get the crinkles. I don't like the crinkles. I don't know about you, but. Oh, and Pat says she allows herself one week. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. I know. But um, I'm starting this new program tomorrow. And, um, you know, it's a diet that's probably high protein. I haven't even read about it, but it's high protein, um, lower carbs, but not no carbs. Cause that's not good for you. And I need to lose weight cause my daughter's getting married in August. And I promise that I will not be a heavy mother of the bride. Boom. <laughs> okay. Card base. Then we're going to bring in. The rest of our layers here. So I've got a layer of basic black. And this, let's see, what is that for? Oh, I'm sorry. This piece is, I believe this is the two and a half by four. This one is one and a half by four. And this one, I don't know, because I got confused. So let's see. This is two and an eighth by four and three eighths. This layer is on top of it. So this whisper white layer is two by four and a quarter. Oh my gosh, I got that right. Winning. Okay. So, and then we've got two granny apple green pieces and this granny apple green is one and a quarter by three and three quarters. And this one is two and a quarter by three and three quarters. And again, all these measurements will go up on my blog. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to do our stamping first. And I've got this cute little frog on this, whatever you call this, unicycle. Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. Unicycle. Dripping masculinity. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> my, my, um, my computer isn't keeping up with my comments again, so that's always tricky, you guys. So just know that I'm having to kind of roll my screen up so I can see what you're saying. Oh, that turned out really good, didn't it? Okay, then I'm using Memento Ink, by the way, because we're going to use Stampin' Blends here. And I'm going to take these little flies, and I'm going to do half there and the other half right there. And look, at it looks like he's um, juggling them. We're going to color this in with our Stampin' Blends. And I've got Granny Apple Green Blends, Smoky Slate Blends, and Petal Pink Blends. I'm going to use the darker Petal Pink and I'm just gonna color in my little flies. And these things are so cute. Little flies, juggling flies. And then I'm going to do my bicycle. Now I'm using the dark smoky slate here. And this is what I'm gonna use to color in the bicycle. And boom. Just like that, this pedal, this little gear thing in the middle, and the tire. Now if you want to, you could use black on the tire, that would work fine, too. But I'm just going to use the gray. And I think, oh, we'll do this other pedal over here. I think that's good enough. Then I'm going to bring in my light gray. And I'm going to add just a little bit of ground down here. About that that looks good right let's round this off just a little bit so it doesn't look so scribbly oh I like it or you could do less 
<laughs> I got kind of carried away. And now we're coming in with the green. So when I use the blends, I like to use the darker colors first to do my shading area. And this is the dark one. And I'm just going to go around the belly here. And maybe around this side, around the little frog's mouth, just like that. And I'm going to come in with the lighter one. Oops, let's do this. And I'm going to get all of this done. His little hands. Don't forget to color the little shield or cover that goes over his eye when he closes it because there's just a little sliver there. I always forget to color those. For those of you that use the blends, do you absolutely love them? I think they are so amazing because I hate, and I mean hate, scribble marks. When I'm coloring with markers, I hate, hate, hate scribble marks. So now what I'm doing is I'm just blending these lines that I drew here because I don't want them to look like just big globs. I want them to look nice. Here we go. Okay, there's our little frog guy. And then I need a rhinestone because I think the center of our wheel deserves a little bling. Boom, isn't that cute? Just a little rhinestone there. And then, what else am I gonna do? Oh, I've got this. This is our um, ombre ribbon and it is Calypso Coral. And I'm just going to take a tiny little piece off the end. I'm just going to tie it in a knot. Just like that. And I'm going to take a tiny little piece and I'm going to cut this square. Just like this. And what, does anybody know what I'm making? I am making a little bow tie for my cute little frog dude. I'm going to put that right at the top of his belly under his lip. And set that right in there. Ah, isn't that sweet? Very, very cute. Okay, now let's put this cool card together. Let me get these out of the way. Oh, I'm going to need them. I'll set them right over here. We're going to add this white panel to our black panel. And remember, our black panel is mm, two by four and a quarter. I think so this on here straight. Here we go. Then we're going to run both of these pieces through the dot to dot embossing folder. Oh, that's not what this is called. Um, it's in the Occasions Mini Catalog and who knows what it's called. I can't remember. My brain is done today. Somebody knows what this is called. So um, this is the in, in the Occasions Mini Catalog. We're going to run these two pieces through the embossing folder. And when we do that, dot to dot. It is dot to dot. I was right. We get these two pieces. We're going to put these on our black pieces. So basically, you've just got some pieces of cardstock. You're going to run a couple through the big shot. You're going to stamp on one of them, and we're layering all these together. And wait till you see this card, because it's pretty darn cool, if I do say so myself. I was saving this for a special occasion. Oops, that didn't work. I was saving it for a special occasion, like when I got home from an event and didn't have time to come up with <laughs> cards. Hang on, you guys. I need to emboss this. I cut the wrong size. Then I put glue on it, and yeah. It is what it is, right? Okay. And I know how to emboss with a folder, so we're in luck tonight. Cut that piece wrong. I gave you the right dimension, I believe, but I just didn't cut it right. Okay. There we go. And here we go. Yep, look at there. That fits. <laughs> hmm. Imagine that. All right. Here we go with this one. Okay, so we've got these two pieces. We've got our card base. 
And now we need to do a little modification to it. We're going to take the card base and we're going to cut it off at eight and a quarter. So we're going to run this up to eight and a quarter and we're going to cut it off. This fits right on here. So we can glue that down. This fits right on our top part. And then this little piece down here, we are going to, and I just want to make sure I have my measurements right here. Yep, one and three quarters. You're going to cut this so that it's one and three quarters inches wide. Okay, so now it's one and three quarters by four and a quarter. This little piece is going to go on there. So I really do know what I'm doing. <laughs> I just needed to confirm that for my own mind. <laughs> okay. Then we need some dimensionals. And I've got lots of them. Where? I took a whole bunch to we made so many cards. I'm gonna show you the cards that we made when I'm when I'm done making cards for you. I'm gonna show you the cards that we made or the swap cards that I got at the event that I went to in Lansing. It, because they're so Super duper nice. Okay, so now you're going to line this piece up with the bottom of your card. And we are going to stamp a greeting right in here. Now this gets a little dicey, right? Because what if I screw this up? How's that going to go if I mess this up? So I'm going to do a little testing right there. I want to get a feel for this stamp. It's a delicate little stamp. That looks perfect. Now I'm going to hold my card here. Am I in my screen? Yep. Hold my card here and I'm going to bring this in. Because <gasps> oh, that could have gone really south fast, right? <laughs> okay, peel these off and we are going to add this panel to the front. Now remember, this is still laying out here loose, right? So we're gonna make sure that it's at the very bottom, that it's all even with the sides and the bottom. And then we're going to come in right side up. And do you see what I just did? I just dropped this on this stamp. So I've got ink all over it. You probably can't even see that and I wouldn't have to tell you, but I'm pretty transparent, so I'm just going to show you how to stick this on here, and I'm going to have to fix that. But not in front of you. We'll do it later, because you guys know things don't always go perfect, right? Next, I have... Oh, where did my where did my stamp set go? Right here. I need to get the little um, dragonfly out of here, because, well, it's stinking cute, and I don't know why you wouldn't use it. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to do a little dragonfly right on the inside of my card, right here. Isn't that cute? And then all you have to do is give it a little bit of color. So I'm gonna come in here and color this really quick with my Stampin' Blends. This is the dark petal pink. I just like to do just a little bit of something to the inside and this Little dragonfly has like the goofiest bug eyes. They're so cute. And I'm going to make them petal pink and green. Just like that. And here's our card. See, there's like, you could stick your finger right through there. Do you see the mess I made on this? Yeah, I'll peel that off and redo it. But isn't that sweet? Let me grab the one that isn't messed up. How about that? Super, super cute. Now, you're going to dazzle your friends with this whole deal. So basically... The dot-to-dot -dot embossing folder gives you that texture, and you're going to layer it on black to really make the green, granny apple green, pop. And then this little image holds the two pieces together. What do you guys think? Yeah. I love it. Love it, love it. Okay. Let me, I'm just going to set this down while I get out the next project. I'm on a roll. Things are going well. You know, I did drop my card in the stamp, but, you know, you can't have everything. I'm not going to cry over spilled milk. 
I think you guys are going to love this next one. It uses a really cool technique, and it's one that I learned. Um, well, I shouldn't say that. I kind of knew about it, but I forgot about it. You know how we forget about techniques? I kind of forgot about it, but this is one that I um, refreshed my memory on while we were in Lansing. So this was one of our make and takes while we were there. We made, I don't even know, 12 cards one day and 16 cards the next. So it was just like a super, super fun, um, fun day for sure. All right, I need a little piece of crumb cake. I forgot to get that out. I just need a scrap of crumb cake. So here we go. We've got a card base that is crumb cake. This is eight and a half, whoops, eight and a half by five and a half. And I'm gonna fold it in half. And you could score it at four and a quarter if you want, but I don't score them when I fold them this way because they don't crinkle up on the end when it's a, when it's a, um, a half a sheet this way. I don't need to worry about it. Next, this is a scrap. Oh, let me get this out of the way. I've got a scrap of Whisper White. Then I've got a piece of Whisper White, and this is four by three. I've got a scrap of crumb, cr crumb cake. Piece of balmy blue that's four and a quarter by three and a quarter. And I'm going to grab another piece of Whisper White that's four by five and a quarter. This is for the inside. And then I've got some of this fun gingham gala paper. This is a designer series paper. It's a six by six pack of paper and it is so pretty. And gingham is, you know, it's a like, wow, this is like a blowback from a long time ago. But it's super, super trendy right now. And in this pack of paper, on one side, the gingham is little, and on the other side, it's bigger. And we have all these pretty, pretty colors. So I'm using the balmy blue one, and I am going to, oh, where's my little sheet? Right here. I gotta see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna bring in the By the Bay stamp set. This is a free celebration set. It's free with your $50 order. Also, the So Hoppy Together, this is free with your $50 order. So um, those last until the end of March, just so you know. And make sure if you're placing orders that you're using this host code when your order's under $150. Because I will give you some special perks. And if it's over $150, don't use the code because you're going to get your own perks from Stampin' Up! And then I'll still include you in mine, too. So just so you know that. I've got a one-inch circle punch a one and three eighths inch scallop circle punch, our stamp set, and then some of our braided linen trim here that we're gonna use, a plain block, and some Wink of Stella. Are you intrigued? I hope you're intrigued. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do this front part first, and I'm gonna use early espresso ink. Oh, and I'm gonna bring my scrap in and stamp that piece too. So this stamp set by the bay is a beautiful stamp set. It's got like a house with the ocean down here and like a, um, a rock wall going up to it. These really cool seagulls and a shell laying on the beach. And then thinking of you, may all your paths lead to happiness and thank you. So this is just a really nice set. I've seen some beautiful things made with it. And I think you're really going to like this card. I'm going to do the thinking of you in early espresso. And I'm going to punch that out with my one inch circle punch. And then I'm going to bring in my crumb cake and punch that out with a one and three eighths inch scallop punch. And we're going to add these two together. So we'll get that out of the way right now and put them on a dimensional. So that's ready to roll when we're done doing cool things to the rest of this cardstock, right? Okay. Get that out of the way. Then we're going to stamp our birds. And we're going to stamp the birds with early espresso ink also. And I'm going to stamp a set of birds like hmm, right here. Oops. Get this out of the way. I am going to stamp a set of birds right here. That one's down just a little bit lower. And then this one is up higher. So see what I did there? I kind of staggered them. Um, then, oh, 
uh, here's my inside layer. I'm just going to do that right away too. I just wanted this seashell on there again with early espresso ink and I'm just going to put that right down in the corner. I think that's just going to be just a little attractive touch. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of ink to the back. I'm pushing from the back in the middle of my ink pad to add some ink to the lid. I'm going to bring in my aqua painter. I always keep a tissue handy just in case I get too much liquid coming out. I don't. Okay, I need a little bit more liquid. There we go. Okay, I'm going to take this and I'm going to kind of just bring it right around the edge here. Now you can do this with your Wink of Stella, which is what I'm going to do next because this is really cool. I've got my Wink of Stella. I always shake it up first. I'm going to squeeze some some glorious glitter juice into the barrel here. <laughs> Did you like that? Glorious glitter juice coming into the barrel. And then, this is kind of a neat way. You can do this, if you're a demonstrator, you can do this with your customers too. We're gonna take a block, just a plain clear acrylic block. I'm gonna ink that, and now that's got blue ink all over it. And that's what I'm gonna bring in with my Wink of Stella and I'm just going to color this in. I'm going to add the water in between my birds and along with the water that I'm adding in between my birds is the shimmer from the Wink of Stella and this is going to look really really spectacular. It's going to be really hard for you to see it um, until you look at it in real life, until you do it yourself because Wink of Stella is kind of hard to see in a camera, right? Look at how pretty that is. Yeah, I know you can't really see it, right? But trust me, it's really, really pretty. And the um, Wink of Stella brush is kind of dry, so you're just going to kind of keep adding color. And it looks like kind of a mess to begin with, but once you step back from it, it just looks like puddles of water, right? Like that's the way water would look. It's not going to look smooth and perfect, and you don't want it to. And I think oftentimes when we're really close to things that we're making and you're coloring something, you're like, oh, that doesn't look very good. But if you step away from it and come back to it, I think you'll find that it looks just fine. And actually, sometimes it's like, wow, it looks really good. So, oops, I'm going to put just a little bit more blue up here. And isn't that cool? Wink of Stella. I hope you can see that glimmery beautifulness. Yeah, makes me happy. Now, I'm just going to wipe off any color that may be on here so it's ready to go for the next thing that I want to do with it. I always keep my Wink of Stella right in the little cup on my um, desktop so that I have it out in perfect view and I remember to use it because Wink of Stella is super, super pretty. Okay, next thing, we're going to take our greeting that's right here. Oh, thanks you guys for showing the love. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Diana says, way cool. This is a really cool little technique, right? So now I'm gonna bring in that thinking of you and then we're going to put this. Oh, and again, this is a card. This was a make and take at the event that I went to in Michigan this weekend. So kudos to, um, I don't know exactly who designed it, but I just want to let you know that I am completely casing it or copying it. Case stands for copy and share everything. And guess what? Demonstrators copy and share stuff, and it's okay. That's not like a, oh my gosh, I can't believe you just copied that card and showed it to everybody. It's okay for demonstrators to do that. Um, what people usually get a little bent out of shape about is if I were to say, oh, look at this card that I designed and I didn't design it. So, and that's just kind of, you know, that's low character. We don't do stuff like that. <laughs> like, at least I'm not gonna, because I'm not, I, I design enough stuff. I don't need to steal other people's glory. But I really don't know who designed this, but it was a make and take. So, okay, <clears throat> I just glued this down. Now I'm gonna take some of that braided trim and I'm going to wrap it all the way around my card front here. And we're gonna tie it in a knot on the left end. While I was at this training over the weekend, I do have a new thing that I might be um, implementing or bringing to you guys. 
and that is some product-based classes where you're going to get like a roll of this ribbon and some um, little dot embellishments and some this and some that and some other thing, a Wink of Stella and a packet of cardstock where I'm going to show you how to make several cards and you're going to get all the product, the consumable product like this, maybe a half a pack of designer series paper for you to make up a card kit and I'll have videos for each one. That's something that I am considering doing in the near future. Does anybody think they would like that? Because I'm thinking that might be pretty fun. So what you'll do is each each month I'm thinking I will have this available and you will um, order the, the kit from me and um, I won't, I'm not going to be including stamp sets in it so you could use whatever set you'd like or you can order the, I'll let you know which set I'm using, what kind of supplies that you might need to complete your projects, but I'm just going to send you a whole packet of cardstock, all cut, um, sometimes uh, die cut, embossed, so that you can just get a card kit and put it all together via my videos. So I think that might be really fun. I'm, I might give that a try, right? Kathy says, that sounds like fun. I know. So. Now, I'm going to put this inside, and this is just going to be, you know, a thinking of you card. You can use it for whatever occasion, let's move that out of there, that you might need one. But I like that little seashell that's on the bottom corner there, and then I, I have lots of room to write. Isn't this cute? By the Bay, again, a free stamp set during celebration. And don't forget to use this code when you're placing an order. Now I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way. Oh, by the way, you can just wipe your block off. It'll wipe right off with the tissue. I didn't even, it wasn't wet or anything. It works just fine that way. Whoops, sorry, my blocks just kinda collapsed over there. I've got them in a drawer. Okay, I'm gonna bring in those swap cards that I promised to share with you. I think you're gonna be very, very, happy to see them. But let me get some of this stuff cleaned up and out of the way here so that I don't ruin things. Uh, there we go. Okay. Here's our first card. Whoops. Here's our first card. Here's our second card and our third card today. This is a really neat little layout and I will post the dimensions for this right away. Um, <laughs> Loved the embossing mats, right? Once Kelly remembered how to use them with your help. Thank you guys so much. That was so sweet of you to help me out because I was like, oh my Lord. Um, and these little embellishments. Now those have um, two different keys in them. And where did they go? Two different keys. And, oh, bread. I don't know where I put them. And a wrench. Well, I don't know where they are. They're in the bin someplace and I can't find them. I thought I set them over here. And then of course, the fun layout and the Wink of Stella technique. So yeah, I think this is actually probably gonna be my technique for my, I have a online club. So you can join my online club and what it is, is you place a minimum $25 order once a month for six months. At the end of the six months, you get a credit for anything you want totaling up to $30. And I send you a card made with our technique of the month plus an instruction card. I've shown these to you guys before. I'll grab my little pack here. Plus an instruction card showing you the technique. So a sample of the technique and then the directions. So here was a basket weave, so I've got a little sample of the basket weave on there and then the directions on how to do it. Lots of fun, these are great. You can get a whole booklet of these once you've been in that club for a while. And you get a card from me every month with the instructions too. It's a fun club. If you are interested in that, you can pop me an email at kelly at a stamp .com and say you'd like the details for the online club. Now. Don't just assume that you're going to get put in the online club. You must then contact me in some fashion and say, I want to join that online club. Okay. Now, what happens if you don't place an order next month? 
nothing, nothing happens. You just have to start over. It's six consecutive months, minimum $25. If you place a $100 order this month, does that count towards the next three months? Nope, it's every single month and you must use the host code that I provide. On the right-hand column of my blog, you'll find a host code that's there. That's the one that you're gonna use for um, every order that you put in. It's a really fun way to learn techniques and then get a booklet of instructions that show you the technique because like I said, I knew about this but I forgot all about it and I can just bring out that booklet of techniques and go, oh yeah, let's do this or let's make some cards doing, you know, using this. So it's pretty cool. Okay, swap cards. Are you guys ready? Does anybody have any questions that I might have missed? Please let me know now. Um, as I'm not busy stamping, I can um, monitor the side here a little better for my comments. Oh, I named it Facey Book Live. Maggie says, I love how you named this video Facey Book or Facey Live. Oh, that's great. I did not do that on purpose. <laughs> So there was just another cluster going on tonight. <laughs> Hi, Deidre. Thank you so much. Um, all right, here we go. Here is our first swap card that I got. And isn't this so, so pretty? This is by Kim Dent. And it uses that Hello Cupcake stamp set that's free during celebration with a polka dot embossing folder. Here's another one of the Geared Up Garage. And look at the gears. She cut them apart. She used the same technique using the embossing mats, and it's funny because she probably didn't have to ask a, an audience of 350 people how to do it. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But um, really, really cool card. And let's see. This card is by Sherry George. Very nice card. This one is from Jennifer Merle Hampshire. And look at this. This is a... Fun fold. It says, keep reaching for your dreams. I will keep cheering you on. And isn't that just pretty? Yeah, this is a really pretty card. This uses the vellum from the um, Wonderful Romance bundle. Very pretty. Then we have the puzzle. This is a stamp set that has a set of framelits that are little puzzles. And isn't that sweet? Again, I believe the embossing mat was used here. Let me see. Yep, the embossing mat was used to do the background on here. And then framelits to cut out the pieces. This is by Jean Nielsen. That's pretty. And then I love what, um, let's see, who's this from? This is from Julie Ward. Julie Ward took a bunch of the square stitch shapes and she cut them out and then she put a circle framelit on top of them and cut out the circle. She also used the Subtles embossing folder here. The world needs more people like you. Isn't that pretty? Here comes another Geared Up Garage. Is there any way demonstrators can get my techniques? Um, no. <laughs> But you can go back, yeah, Wendy, Wendy's asking if there's any way demonstrators can get my techniques. Yes, you can actually look through my um, Facebook or my YouTube channel. When you go there, if you click on videos, you're going to see all my videos. And it'll show you a picture of what's in each video. And you will see the techniques and you'll be able to click on them. Once you open the video, underneath the video is a description. It'll also have a link that goes directly to my blog post for that particular card. And you'll be able to get all the dimensions and the videos there also. So yes, there is a way for you to get those techniques, but um, you have to do it on your own because I do not um, have those available to sell or give away. It's just something that my online club enjoys. So here's those little dust things or the little smoke, the exhaust smoke things coming out in the background. I really like how she did this card. This one is by Monica Gilberti. Gilberti, I believe is how you say her name. That was really cool. Here is that dog punch and that new dog stamp set in the Occasions mini catalog. Isn't this a cute way to do that? She used the wood grain textures designer series paper on here. Can a demo join the online? Yeah, you can join the online. You just have to place a $25 order with me, Pam. That's a great question. So yes, you can certainly do that. 
Here's another one with the geared up garage. And look, she took the ribbon and tied the wrench right in there. And she used the silver foil paper in the background here for those gears. And actually stamped the smoke on the car. So that's really interesting. I think that's kind of a cool look, right? And this is by Linda Day. And then we have this pretty card, and that uses that lace embossing folder that Linda Darrenpole won tonight, and also the um, corner punch. And I'll grab that. I haven't used that in a long time. I need to set that out so I use it. So we've got a corner punch that does three different things here. Isn't that pretty? And this is by, oh, and it's got little gummy bears down here in the bottom. This is from Joy Thompson. Very pretty card. And then we've got, this one is by Rhonda Wade, and she used the, um, this is actually the hmm, Botanical Butterfly, back order until March sometime, but um, you can punch out two butterflies and put them together like that, and look what that does. Isn't that cool? And she used the lace in the background also. So very pretty card. Here comes another one. <clears throat> this uses, I think it's this. This isn't the Incredible Like You, but I don't remember which stamp set. Do you guys know which stamp set this is? I have it, and I just made a whole bunch of cards with it, but I can't remember what it's called. Hello, beautiful. Yeah, this is fun. Blooms, Bloom by Bloom or something like that. That's what it is. Very, very cool. Hi, Ruth Miller. Thanks for joining me. We're almost done, but... um. You can come back and watch as soon as I post it. As soon as I'm done with the video, I'll post it to the page, and you can start at the beginning if you missed it. This is a shaker card using the little gummy bears, and I think this is the How Sweet It Is bundle and designer series paper. Isn't that cute? It's got a little um, uh, window sheet in the in the front for the jar opening. This is made by Hillary Sosby, so that's really cute. And then the Needlepoint Nook bundle. I love this. This is by Jeannie Cooker. And it is just the designer series paper is so pretty. She put all kinds of little embellishments on there. She used that um, the linen thread that's green. That's part of the bundle. Super cute. And then last but not least, this is one of the four cards that Kathy, Chris, and I made um, in the front of the room for the demonstration purposes of showing how a team building a card is much quicker than one person doing it all themselves. So this is really cool too. Okay, did I miss any questions, you guys? Yeah, <clears throat> Pat says there's lots of talented people and you are absolutely right. There is a whole bunch of talent. I was surrounded by wonderful, positive, happy, talented women. And you know, if people are happy, mm, it just makes it wonderful. Hi, Elizabeth Giles. It's good to see you. I'm going to be in your neck of the woods next weekend. Um, I don't see any other questions. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Oh, um, I answered Wendy's question. And Kathy says she learned a few things from me tonight. I love that. That's what I'm hoping for all the time. Um, Kathy says, does the platform tell the sequence of the embossing sandwich? Oh, that's a great question. <laughs> let, let me look at that. Let me see what it says on here. It doesn't have the, um, embossing mats on here. But I do believe that the embossing mats come with an instruction sheet showing you how to do them. I just don't know where mine is at, Kathy. So that's a really good question. Oh, and Sandra asks, she loves the Wink of Stella idea, but does it dirty your brush? So I think that red inks, if you were to do it with red inks, would dye your brush. But once you clean it off like I did in the tissue, it'll be fine. Like, mine is still white. It didn't turn brown from the ink that was on there. Or blue. I was using blue ink. It didn't turn blue. I just wiped it off and the ink came right off the brush. Um, but if it did happen to stain it, it's not going to make everything you do red from now on if you use red inks with it. Because reds always, they like stain our photopolymer, right? So I think you'll be okay. I didn't have any trouble getting the blue off of it at all. So that's a great question. And let's see, anybody else? Sarah Simon, thank you. And you are very welcome. 
Oh, Elizabeth, um, I am coming up the 16th. I'm doing a party in Spencer. So, and you're going to be in Chippewa Falls. <laughs> well, darn. Yeah. Thank you, Diane. Another wonderful time spent with me. I really appreciate that. Oh, Cindy's asking, was it watercolor paper? No, not at all. It's just Whisper White. This was not watercolor paper. So that's a great question too. Just Whisper White. Now, I am going to be posting all the details and a shopping list for these cards on my blog on Tuesday. Um, I found that uh, trying to get them pushed out on Monday is really hard because I have to do photo, I have to do my photography and my editing of my photos and adding my watermarks. This is a very long process to get something from here to my blog. Um, but I will have it posted on my blog on Tuesday. And of course, you can find my blog right here at www.estampabove.com. I so appreciate you guys watching my video, my live tonight. Um, I really appreciate that you are commenting and asking me questions and giving me answers when I need them. Oh my Lord, what would I have done without you? Char says, thanks for the chuckles tonight. I aim to please Char. <laughs> you are very welcome. Um, if you'd like to place an order, use this host code. If your order is under $150. And don't forget about the fabulous discount shopper kit. Don't you want to get a discount on all this product that you're buying? That is the best way to do it, is to get a discount. And plus, in doing that, you get to be part of my team, which is part of a much bigger thing. You get to be part of a bigger community where we support and uplift each other. We share. We um, critique. If you have a card and it's like, I don't know what else does this card need, you put it on our private discount shopper team page on Facebook and we will tell you, oh, if you maybe if you added this or, or, you know, add some ribbon or whatever, be part of a much bigger community and join my team. You'll absolutely love it. I have all the information about the kit on my blog. Just go to my blog and scroll down until you see $99 kit in the right hand column. Click on that and it's going to have tons of questions and answers. It tells you all the benefits of belonging to my team. There's also a link there you can click on and go right in and order your discount shopper kit. Again, $99 plus tax gets you $175 with the product of your choice. You will also get a paper pumpkin kit that's an added $20 value. You get free shipping on top of this. That's an added $17.50 value that you're not paying if you were to put in a $175 order. That's how much it would cost to ship it. And you get to be part of my awesome team. And can I just say, my demonstrators, my discount shoppers are awesome. You will love being a part of something bigger. What happens if you don't keep it up? Um, what happens if you don't meet the minimum requirements, which are $300 a quarter? Nothing happens. You just will get dropped from Stampin' Up. You will get uh, removed from my groups. You can still shop with me. You can still come play with me every Sunday night. You will still remain in my VIP Facebook group. You're just not going to get that discount or have the access to that discount group. Does anybody have any questions about that? Because I'm happy to answer them. Let's see, I'm going to be live again next Sunday, February 17th at 7 p.m. You will see me here with bells on, and I've got some really cute projects. Like, um, I think I'll show you how to make this box that Kathy shared with us, this cutie patootie little box. I'll have some fun cards to go with it. I'll probably be showing some of the new um, celebration products for sure. The paper, the stamp set, all the all those goodies. So I'll have some great things going on for you next Thursday. Oh, Dolly or um, Verna says Dolly Pardon was on the Grammys tonight. Tough tough competition for you to su but you succeeded. It was a fun night. Good thing that recording is possible. I know DVR those shows so you can watch me. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. Kathy did do a great job on that box. It was It's super, super cute. What else do I have going on? Don't forget to share my video, please. That really helps me out. Uh, make sure you leave a comment if you're watching after the live is done or leave a comment under YouTube. That gets you entered in 
a drawing to win great free stuff. I have a whole box of new stuff coming to be giving away next week. So you're going to love it. And if you happen to be from Marshall, Texas, and you placed an order with me, you accidentally click something that says no contact. And what that does when you set up your account is it doesn't allow me to know who you are. I can't send you a thank you card, and that like really bugs me. Um, I want to thank you properly for your order. So if you are from Marshall, Texas, and you placed an order with me a couple weeks ago, please contact me on a private message or an email at kelly at a stamp above.com because I would like to be able to thank you properly. <laughs> I have gift certificates available. Don't forget I have orders going in every Thursday. If you're not comfortable ordering online, you are welcome to call me or email me and I can put your order in for you. Um, make sure when you're sharing my video that you're sharing it to one of someplace else. Don't share it to my VIP page. Don't share it to my private profile page. I have a whole schedule that I do my own sharing. So please don't take, please don't take that away from me. <laughs> you need to be sharing it to your personal page or maybe you have a creative page or group that you belong to. You can share it to that. I really do appreciate it. All right, you guys. Thank you, Linda Knight. Brady for sharing. I appreciate it. I'm going to sign off now and I hope you guys have a wonderful week and watch. I've got a blog hop coming up um, on Thursday with the one stamp at a time. That'll involve, maybe I'll do that. It involves a 3D item and a card. And then I also have a blog hop coming out Thursday night with the stampers dozen. So that'll be really cool. Wednesday's tip video is going to be all about hair. Yep, you heard that right. Hair. Don't miss it. You'll find it on my blog. Have yourselves a great week. Stay warm if you're in the Midwest. And um, don't break your back shoveling that snow. It's just not worth it. Bye-bye, <laughs> you guys. Thank you.